so this is our next video in the series and this uh, i'll be preparing some sort of uh, motivational videos in this series and uh, this video is related to i'll be as an exam is coming uh, so time of exams uh, in the march and the april months so i'll be giving some tips generally like this video is about how can you prepare for your exams if you have only like 15 days and get above 80 percentage so i have done that i have prepared for exams in 15 or 20 days I even done that in 15 to 16 days and i have got above 80 percentage in this specific semester so the first point is that is it possible to prepare for exams in uh, say 10 or 15 days and uh, get about 15 days to 20 days to say more specifically prepare for exams in 20 days and get a marks close to like 80 percentage per semester yes it's possible to do that and the next thing is that so to being more general so what kind of preparation is there for exam so there is two kind of preparation which is just a personal opinion which i will say and one is a long term preparation and the other is the short term preparation so saying about the long term preparation so some kind of students they generally are very studious and they will involve in the long term preparation that is from the first day of semester they will be very much uh, uh, sincerely studying they will uh, take regular notes uh, uh, also they will use the same notes for exam preparation they will attend the practicals etc very sincerely and and again saying about the long term preparation the students who are involved in the long term preparation will go home daily and they will study what has happened on that day so one it's uh, sometimes for other students it's again difficult to uh, do that uh, for me also it was sometimes difficult and for most of the people i have been with uh, i've seen very few people uh, going uh, to their home daily and studying so when you are uh, talking about engineering and everything you would be staying in a hostel or you would be staying out from your parents etc so at that time you would be with your friends so again it's not possible that after coming from your lecture you will be sitting with your book studying and looking into what has happened in that same in the class that day one of the reason is that you would be bored uh, you'd be tired uh, you'd want some refresh so you would watch a movie you would go out again there would be a lot of things which would be happening so again you'd be having time but some people they will do that but some people they will not be like they would go daily one of the advantage if you are doing that which even i missed uh, uh, during some part of my some semesters is that uh, if you are going and even if you are reading on a weekly basis or on a daily basis you are going and if you are looking then you would be in sync with what is happening in your lectures so there is a chance that you will understand the next lectures or the topics much better if you have in a habit of revising or paying more attention etc but either way assuming that you have not done that uh, but still you have an idea of uh, what has happened uh, in the lectures or what all is going in the uh, class for uh, or in the college for that semester so now coming to the second term that is a short term preparation which some people would say that it's possible they would uh, like the semester would be six months uh, so they would start preparing for exams uh, from the last one month so again the kind of preparation which i would discuss in this video is like how can you prepare if you are only 15 days or 16 days so assuming that uh, there would be five subjects minimum in that semester so most of the semesters are structured to have five or six subjects maximum per semester and it is possible to divide those five subjects and in such a way that you study uh, three subjects per uh, three uh, one subject in three days so five threes are 15 so you can divide it in such a way that you keep three uh, days for a single subject and you can cover that in 15 days so again while you are doing that uh, it's possible that you may have a one day holiday during your exams or for some exams you may have a three or four day holiday so if you are having such a subject where you're having a three or four day holiday then you can take a risk like if you are in a situation where you are only starting to study for uh, in during the last 15 or uh, 20 days or 10 days so you can take that risk of uh, 
skipping that chapter exam on which you have a four or five days uh, three even three or four days uh, gap so you can not you will not study that uh, subject during your uh, vacation for the exam preparation so again uh, coming to one more tip which i want to give is that you out of the five or six subjects you will have two subject or one subject uh, which would be having very low credit like a two credit or a three credit so so i've seen that usually the subjects including lower credit like a two credit or a three credit are uh, uh, very uh, easy subjects and they require a lower amount of preparation like uh, one day or a two day before the exam or a one day or two day during the vacation period so with a one day or two day and uh, by revising it before the exam you will be able to clear that so those subjects would be mostly theoretical and it would be not much the concepts would be very simple to understand so you can again take that risk of uh, giving less amount of time like what i say is about uh, what i want to say is that you can give two days or out of your 15 or 16 days which you are going to prepare for subjects with low credit so again saying one subject out of the five subject one subject you have uh, you are going to study only two days so now you are left with 13 days and you have four sub uh, you have four subjects so again you can give four days to one subject so when you will give four days to one subject you can give four days to the subject which is having the maximum credit like a six credit or again that subject could have a five credit so when it is having a five credit even it could be a subject which is involving more number of uh, practical problems or more number of numericals so again subjects involving numericals it's not that those subjects requires more amount of time because it is tough uh, to understand the numericals etc but again when you are dealing with numericals you and if you are having only 15 days or 20 days preparation uh, you will have to understand that uh, it's uh, tough to uh, like it's tough to practice the numericals quickly so you will need to practice all the numericals so while you are doing practicing numericals it will take a lot of time so again you will have to be in the mindset that i am going to practice uh, 40 kind of numericals while there are 100 kind of numericals which are going to come in which are in the syllabus for the exam but each kind you have each type like there's a type of numerical and in that type there could be multiple subtypes etc so based on that you have practiced the 40 types uh, and now you should be thorough with the theory and thorough with whatever you have practiced in such a way that uh, you should be able to attempt anything which is out of this uh, based on what you have learned. So again talking about numericals it could be any, anything like whatever you, is in your book. Uh, the methods etc could be same but the problems asked could be twisted it could be something different so you will have to be prepared for that and you will have to be ready to attempt for that. again it's not possible to remember what you are solving so again you like i said you are you will have to be in the habit to, to solve anything that comes and it's not possible to uh, study anything new on the last day so just like if you are having 15 days for preparation where you are given three days to most of the subjects four days to one subject and two days uh, to one subject in this way you have covered five subjects in 15 days again whatever you studied you should have keep a track of that you should uh, write that in some book like whatever i have studied or keep a mark of that in the test textbook so again what you can do is that after those 15 days while you are just prep one day before the exam you can revise whatever you have done before so again you can learning something new could be like one or two topics or important topic which your friend has said that this was important for you in exam or you have come to know that this topic is important you have missed or one chapter which you missed uh, we are not able to prepare uh, during those 15 days you could add that in quick time so again it's not possible to prepare uh, something new during the last day so last day you should keep always for revision even if you have one day one day extra for that it's not possible to study something new that day you should keep that for revision so in this way it's possible like this is how i usually did it and this is what i want to say like how you can uh, study for 15 days or even in case it can be 18 or 20 days and you could get close to 80 percentage or 80 above percentage in a specific semester uh, 
Uh, also, I would advise people to read from the reference books which is given for the exam or a specific semester. So, there are books which are suggested by the teacher, suggested by the university. And again, like with the advent of or like people are going like if you are seeing this video, you could have been referred from some so source like for uh, while you're preparing for your exam. So again, like if you're having 10 topics, it's it's good to rather than having 10 books uh, like internet became more prominent or more important while I was about to complete my graduation so during the initial phase I did not much rely on searching for anything on internet but as we got more knowledge it was a long time back like six seven years back so again talking like you could have 10 topics you could keep one or two reference book more, probably one of the good reference books and again out of the 10 topics if you are not getting uh, two or three topics or four topics difficult to understand from the reference book it's always uh, good to go to the internet and get that so in the internet you will get multiple options like as you would be knowing it's not something you would be getting like 10 20 places from where you can get the same information and in a better and simple in simpler way so that's also one of the tools which you can use uh, while you're preparing for the exam that's all and this video was as i said just about how to prepare for exams in 15 to 20 days and that's also i'm updating this channel so this is again in the series of a motivational video so i will be i am in the preparation of some kind of new videos for this channel again i don't know what kind of more educational videos i should put and how much time i should give for this channel uh, as whenever i'm getting time i will try to add videos on this channel